The public transit system in America has taken a big hit since the onset of the pandemic. Local systems like Rock Region Metro also forced to make changes to keep people safe and save money. Cassandra Webb joining us now live from the Rock Region Metro station in downtown Little Rock with a look at how they've adjusted. Cassandra. Hey, Bob and Laura. The agency says ridership is down 50%. It's one of many transit agencies across the country urging Congress for some emergency funds for what they say is a dire financial crisis. Emmanuel Covington was on his way to the UA Little Rock Library. I stay uh, up the hill, so I just do a like three minute walk. He says he feels safe on the bus. They got the do not sit here sign on here on some of the seats. They got it as safe as possible. With a student ID, the four rides he takes a week are free. And with no car, he depends on the bus and hopes things don't change. I hope it don't go down because, man, that one. That would be a big hurt for me. Because of COVID, Rock Region Metro has had to limit passengers and temporarily suspend some routes. We have had a significant loss in ridership, probably about 50%. Bus schedules have been adjusted almost daily because of pandemic-related staff absences, especially on the weekends. We've had to kind of roll with those punches, and um, unfortunately that means that when that happens, uh, we don't get the number of people showing up to work that we expect, so we have to cut some service. Rock Region Metro says CARES Act funding has helped them get through the pandemic and they're waiting to see what President Biden's COVID-19 relief care package looks like and how that might help them stay afloat without having to reduce more services. A lot of the people in our community are totally transportation transit dependent. People like Covington who don't have another choice. I don't know man it's, it's, it's in limbo. I hope it gets better. And Rock Region Metro says the pandemic caused them to expand one of their programs called Metro Connect near the airport. And what that is, that's an on-demand ride share program that costs the same as about one ride on one of their buses. So certainly had to make some changes over the last year. Bob and Laura, back to you. Cassandra, thank you. After